So what do you think? Uh, there is no ashtray. Are you a prima donna? The core of this character is always forward-looking. Asked many times, what's your favorite car of all the cars you built? He always had the same answer, the next one. It was the next piece of technology, the next innovation, the next race. When we win, I can't see my cars for shots of Starlet's asses. When we lose, you're a lynch mob. No, no, no. Everybody has an opinion about their version of Enzo Ferrari. It's enough to make the Pope weep. He was different with everybody. He was different with the women in his life. He was different with customers. Your Highness. Which Highness? Than he was with racers. That Highness. You, get out to the track. Enzo's relentlessness and ambition and myopic focus, I completely understand. There is a similarity between Adam Driver and Enzo Ferrari in Adam's origins. He met Agnelli at Fiat about a job. I was 19, I needed a job. The secretary came back with a card, one word written on it. He didn't get it? No. That was a long time ago. Adam applies to Juilliard, rejected, joins the Marine Corps at 19. That moment of defeat and humiliation was a big catalyst for the rest of his life moving forward. After the Marine Corps, he goes back to Juilliard and studies, and he's determined. Asking himself, who do I want to be in this world? And he discovers his passion for acting, and nothing will stand in his way. He wasn't from an elite family that had a lot of opportunity. He had to make it. And same with me. I have nobody that's in the entertainment industry, but it's something that I loved and felt confident, where it's like, well, no one can stop me from doing it. We all know it's our deadly passion. And I thought that he's Enzo Ferrari in here. A terrible joy. And there was such an integrity to the pure artistic ambition. I mean, very healthy, ego-driven artistic ambition that will drive an actor as it drives Adam to, I have to get there. I have to be in this moment. I have to be in this state of mind. I have to feel within these certain emotions. Surrounded by all kinds of sensory input. You blame me for his death? And then a stimuli comes in. A line from Lara. Yes, I blame you, I blame you, because you let him die. The father deluded himself! And then the reaction is spontaneous, and it's Enzo's reaction, it's not Adam's reaction. Ferrari was a man who had been a race car driver to begin with. His sole purpose in life is racing. It's a race car company that on the side builds passenger cars. Jaguar races only to sell cars. I sell cars only to be racing. We are completely different organisms. You have that unity that occurs when you're doing everything right and you're just in a state of flow. Barra pulls up next to you. Challenging. You're even. But two objects cannot occupy the same point in space at the same moment in time. You lift, he passes. He won, you lose. So I wanted Adam to have that experience. We raced Ferraris when we were in Modena. When you're going that fast and you're trying to find the apex of the curve and every second lost is a second off your time. The focus that's required in racing was helpful in playing who he was now, running a business, understanding the mentality of a racer, that you can't be off focus for a second or that means death. <laughs> And then building a wall because he experienced so much death. And that's your fifth opponent. Total quiet. No one talks. I think it's always good to surprise yourself as you're shooting, just to make sure that you're on point, even if it's totally way off. Cut. Right. No deal. I have the luxury of not being the one responsible for what is inevitably used. That's Michael's decision. And I don't want to leave the set with regret that we didn't exhaust every opportunity.